Last year, Class C had some heavy hitters in the area, like Ryan, who was the runner-up, and Titton, who ended up taking home that gold ball. But on the other end, they had some of the worst ones in Class C, like the Bray Doyle Donkeys, who finished in the bottom of District 2. This year, they look to turn things around. 7 Sports' Mark Lowe has more. Bray Doyle is coming off back-to-back no-win seasons, a rough patch that saw one coach leave and another one come in. It wasn't exactly the first season head coach Wade Watley wanted, but the good part about being at the bottom is there's only one way to go, up. We've put in a lot of time this summer, and we're excited about the kids who showed up and got better with our summer pride. And we started practice the other day, and it was nice to go out there and see 15 kids as opposed to the year before when we had four kids out. Coach Watley isn't the only one excited about the new bodies that are suiting up. A few veterans on the team are looking forward to having more opportunities to take a breather during games, which for eight-man football is a rare occurrence. Feeling great because we've had a lot more bodies this year. The last couple of years have been rough because we ain't had very many people, but this year we got the numbers, so we should be doing pretty good. While the breaks are nice, the donkeys aren't losing sight of the end goal. Most on the team haven't won a game in their high school career, and they're hungry to find the win column by any means necessary. I'm just trying to get out there and uh, put as many points on the board. Hopefully we can come out with a couple uh, games under our belt, but I haven't won a game a whole high school year. Hopefully we can get under my belt. The Donkeys have a big matchup to start things out against rivals Central High in 16 days at home before they hit the road for the first half of September and come back home to start district play against the reigning Class C champion Tipton at the end of September. For 7 Sports, I'm Mark Lowe.